Welcome to 5 Minutes of Peace, a time for you to reflect, recharge, and renew. 5 Minutes for you to learn more so you can be more and do more. Just the time you need to awaken something within yourself. This podcast is created by thepeaceroom.love, a Reiki healing and training center in Boise, Idaho. And so, with that, here is today's message for you. Today's book passage is from Sacred Geometry, Language of the Angels, by Richard Heath. Introduction, Angelic Transmission Through Sacred Number. The idea of angels has recently broken free of an orthodox religious context, and angels are now seen as higher beings who care for human lives without any ecclesiastical sanction. Such beings are different from mere spirits, being responsible for an overall evolution of life on Earth, its entire scope of past, present, and future. This planetary role of angels is related to the emerging destiny of human beings, whose minds hardly comprehend the scope of the enterprise they are within. From an angelic perspective, the human race is worth helping in order to progress with their own work. The angelic mind is founded on a deep understanding of numbers and the patterns they produce, patterns that belong to a universal framework science that defines what is possible and impossible within planetary worlds and their specific situations. These framework conditions caused this universe, and they have governed its development according to the universal will. Humans now have added their minds to the phenomenon of life on Earth, and these minds must have resulted from the framework conditions once life had evolved human beings. That minds should arise on Earth is then probably no accident. Rather, they are essential to the purpose of the human essence class itself, Unlike the working of angels who facilitate a living planet's creation, living minds enable the universe to know itself. We are microcosms, or small resemblances of a greater whole that can know nothing without our minds. The universe, macrocosm or greater whole, must grow minds to become self-aware. The minds of angels, on the other hand, differ from ours in their furthering of Earth's evolution. Angels are part of the universal will to create the universe. In contrast, human minds are part of the developing self-awareness of the universe and a stepping stone toward human transformation into the cosmic individuality. Though an exact science has emerged through human civilization, this is significantly different from the universal science of angels. For a start, the mind of an angel differs from that of a human. It is inherently top-down thinking as it does about harmony within the universal framework conditions. Human thinking is instead bottom-up, being driven by contingency and with no direct insight into the cosmic order apart from what can be deduced through the human mind and its sensorium. For angels to encourage the development of human minds, they had to reach the human sensorium with a complex but intelligible message, one found within a suitable sensory phenomenon. Fortunately, the angelic world had already created, out of necessity, a suitable phenomenon for communicating with early human minds that involved number patterns and language. The planetary world had already been organized according to angelic number science. Therefore, around 6,000 years before the present, Homo sapiens sapiens could become aware of this phenomenon through the astronomical counting of planetary time periods. A prehistoric human science then emerged that was based on angelic science and that would be influential in developing the human mind and civilization. The planetary world had been made intelligible through the creation of the moon and its resonances with the other planets. This had been necessary for life to arise on Earth, but these resonances could now be recognized from the Earth by the simple counting of days and could be seen as being based on the properties of numbers. Astronomy was therefore able to transmit angelic number science, in particular, numeracy, rationality, and reasoning to late Stone Age humans so as to develop their minds. 
These humans then also used numbers to form the megalithic measures for designing astronomical observatories, and they eventually evolved a highly integrated system of measures and geometrical forms with which to achieve what we now achieve through arithmetic and trigonometry. This ancient science of measures continued alongside the development of later arithmetical and geometrical methods, but over time became increasingly restrictive to being used in the sacred buildings constructed by its remaining initiatory groups. Thank you for listening, and thank yourself for taking five minutes of peace. We are all connected on a path of love, service, and peace for ourselves and others. We're glad to be together with you on this path. And if you would like to know more about the Peace Room and our Reiki treatments, crystal healings, training sessions, and certification workshops, go to www.thepeaceroom.love. Join us here again whenever you need five minutes of peace.